you very much. Hello to you and a very warm welcome to this, the final of the 30th series of Countdown. Or would you believe the 1,711th show? Well, since November the 2nd, 1982, thousands of contestants have been counted down and out in this very studio. But up until today, only 58 have reached this stage. So will you now please welcome the 59th and 60th, Verity Joubert and Chris Kelsman. <laughs> So here they are, Verity Joubert. In fact, it's been three years since we had a lady finalist. That was Fiona Davis in Series 24. And it's been five whole years and ten series since we had a female champion. That was Liz Barber in Series 20. So it's great to see Verity Joubert from Wimbledon in our final today. Now, she notched up four fine wins back in July and returned last Friday in a rematch with our number two seed, Andrew Bull. In a fantastic game, Verity clinched it by getting the conundrum on 29 seconds, if you remember, to beat Andrew for the second time. And she followed that with a defeat of our number three seed, Sue Rennick, in the semi-final yesterday by 52 points to 31. So Verity now has a total of 344 from seven games, an average of 49.1. So welcome again our number seven seed, Verity Joubert. <laughs> And Chris, Chris Kelsman, 17-year-old uh, bank clerk from Solihull. It's strange to reflect that Chris was on the brink of defeat in his very first game when he was ten points behind going into the conundrum against Maggie de Sogas. But he got that uh, game to a tie and then he made it through on a sudden death conundrum. And he hasn't really looked back since, quite frankly. He chalked up five more wins, including a very impressive quarter-final uh, defeat of our number one seed, Graham Cross, remember that? And another terrific comeback to give him victory against Martin Linden in the semi-final by 49 points to 45. So Chris now has a seven-game total of 347, an average of 49.6. That's just half a point more than Verity. So, in all points, to a very close and exciting game, good luck to our number eight seed, Chris Kelsman. <laughs> Well, now, facing these two over the next 30 minutes or so are 14 rounds. We have eight letters games, two conundrums, and, depending on the mood of Cecil, what could prove four crucial numbers games. Cecil, of course, being the acronym for Countdown's Electronic Calculator in Leeds, which, since day one, has been under the supervision of the Ms, who never misses, the woman who only has a paddy when she accompanies her husband. Yes, it's Carol Vorderman. <laughs> I think we should explain that. It's not that my husband and I are always falling out, it's because his name's Paddy. That's why it... We never argue, of course, ever. It's perfect marriage, perfect. Yes, if she wants an argument, she argues with me. Yeah. I get <laughs> <laughs> he should be very grateful to me, should that, Paddy. <laughs> now, uh, I've always said that the popularity of our little parlour game here isn't dependent on big prizes, but finals day, frankly, is an exception. We do have a very big prize indeed. This full 20-volume set of leather-bound dictionaries from the Oxford University Press. Embossed with real gold and worth over £3,000. And that doesn't include the excess baggage surcharge. So, a three-grand prize for two grand contestants. Well, of course, there are millions of words contained in those dictionaries there. But one that actually isn't entered is TARDIS, even though it became known to millions in 1963 with the start of the Doctor Who series. So it's a great pleasure to welcome one of the occupants of that TARDIS who later enthralled a whole new generation as Wurzel Gummidge. Well, today he has his thinking head on and he's accompanied by his old mate, who's nobody's aunt, Sally. Please welcome David Jacobs and John Pertwee. <laughs> I don't think it's actually generally known that John Pertwee's radio career actually started as a result of my failure. That's right, isn't it, John? Yeah, absolutely right. Yes, you weren't good enough. That's right. <laughs> we, That's exactly we both what went to the same audition. Well, it was for Waterlogs Bar, and if I remember, Pearl Hackney and Eric Barker wanted somebody to say... Um... What a 
don't you leave him alone? You're always picking on the poor perisher. You see, I still say it better than you. <laughs> yes, <don't>. you do. <laughs> well, I won't prove that I've now learned to say it better, but I do tell you that that's where it all started. That's, and that, 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 I, five years' work I got out of that. Yeah. Yes. And I went somewhere else. <laughs> but we, I'll go somewhere else now and introduce you to the girl who is in charge of our dictionary and has been all the time, with me anyway, this week, Susie Dent. All right, well, it's good to see you, and welcome to you, uh, John Pertwee, uh, and good luck sitting between these two, Susie and David, who are on pretty good form, I have to tell you. But so are Chris Kozelman and Verity Jubert. It is, of course, uh, 14 rounds, so everything's in a different order, but I'll guide you through it, OK? Have no fear, because Whiteley's here, OK? Well, round one is a lesser's game, and it's for you to start, Chris. Constant, please, Carol. <laughs> OK, Chris. Oh, good grief. We start with X. Another one, please. Another. R. And another. And K. A vowel, please. Can only get better. O. Another vowel. E. Another vowel. A. And a consonant. <clears throat> R. Another consonant. Another one. F. And another consonant, please. And another, thank you, Chris. And P. Thank you very much indeed. The first countdown of the final starts now. Yes, Chris, how did you do? Um, try six. You're trying a six. Verity? Six. A six. Verity, six. Porker. Uh, a porker. <laughs> well, you look at the porker, Chris. Parker. And, as in nosy parker or uh, yeah. careless parker. <laughs> parker, I'm afraid, isn't in the dictionary. Thank you. I'm afraid. Bad luck, no parker. But nor it. is porker, is it? Porker, porker is. is. Yes, OK, yeah, porker's there. But no parker. Yes, so what have you got then, John? Well, we, we, we've got four cars, if that's all right. No, I'm afraid that's not in there Oh, either. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, well, I'm, I'm so glad. Looking desperately through the dictionary. <laughs> but, um, I think yes, we'll I second don't. with porker. You're left with porker. With porker. All right, yep. porker it is. Thank you. So, well done. Thank you, porker. Thank you, porker. Now, after all that, Verity, your turn, please. I have a consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Verity. C. And another. B. And another. Another one? M, a vowel. E, another vowel, please. O, and another. E, consonant. D, and another, please. T, and a final consonant. Please. And a consonant, thank you, Verity. And Y. Thank you. So, round two. It's less a game and it starts now. Six. Chris? Six. Now then, Chris. Comedy. Comedy. Yes, comedy. Verity? Become. And become. Comedy and become. Mm. Mr. Pertwee, you got anything to yep. offer here? Yep, that's the same. Good. No. OK, comedy and become uh, is us for six. Good. Now, uh, round three on this occasion is a numbers game, and it's Verity's choice of numbers, please. I'll go for one from the top and any other five. One from the top. Yes. And then yes. five smaller numbers. First lot of numbers we have today are one, nine and four, three, eight and twenty-five. And the target is low, one, five, five. So the first numbers game is one, five, five. And Thirty seconds to get that start now. <coughs> 
Yes, 155, Verity. 155. Chris? Yeah, 155. Chris, 155. 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3? Is 6. Is 6 indeed. Times the 25. Yeah, I thought it might be. It's 150. Add the 4, add the 1. Yeah, Equals and the whole five. lot together? Yeah. 10 points. Indeed, and Verity? Exactly the same. Let's have a look here. Can't be too careful on the finals day. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's why I did it as well. <laughs> all right, well, you've got, ten, you've got your ten points. So, ten points for all now. Round four is upon us, and it's a letters game to be chosen by you, Chris. Consonant, please. R. And another. M. And another. T. And a fourth. And P. A vowel, please. I. Another vowel. Another vowel. E. Another vowel. I. A consonant, please. L. And a vowel, please. And a vowel. Thank you, Chris. And you. Jolly good. So there we have uh, the nine in the line, and of course, 30 seconds is the time. Chris. Seven. You're offering a seven, a verity? Only five. A five, which is verity? Tulip. Uh, Chris? Lumpia. Oh, Lumpia. Lumpia. Mm. Right. Yes, right, they say. Three heads shaking as yeah. one. Well, Three we, heads say we, Lumpia. We've actually got Lumpia ourselves. Well done, well done, you lot. Lumpia for seven, good. So, scores then. After four rounds, we have... The following scores, 23 and 22. <laughs> and so round five is a letters game, and this is uh, your choice, Verity. A consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Verity. D. And another. Another one. T. And a third. And L. And another, please. <clears throat> w. A vowel. E. Another vowel, please. Another one. A. Another vowel. U. A consonant, please. H. And another vowel. And a vowel. Thank you, Verity. And O. <laughs> you can get Doctor Who. Well, you can get Who out of that, can't you? Appropriately enough. Here we go. Verity. Six. Six for Verity, Chris. Six. And six. Chris is six. Wealth. Yours, Verity? Howled. And howled. Now then, we're on six round here. What about you three? We've got a goodie here. Good. Yeah, this is outlawed. That's an awful long word. How long is that? Eight. Eight for outlawed. Look at that. Yes, there Very it good. is. Outlawed. Well done. Very good. So, uh, eight there was. Uh, six we got, 29 and 28. Two rounds to go for part one and a numbers game from you, Chris. One from the top, please. Any other five? One from the top. Similar selection. And five small numbers. Let's see if Cecil does any better this time. We have five, ten and two. Six, seven and the biggie, 100. 
The target this time is a lot bigger, 663. All right, 663, we have to get that in 30 seconds. The time starts now. I presume you can do it, Chris. Have you got it? Yeah, 663. Six, six, Verity seemed to get hers in about 10 seconds, though. Have you got it? Yeah. All right, let's hear yours, Verity. 100 plus 10. 100 plus 10 is 110. Times 6 is 660. 5 minus 2 is 3. Yeah. And added on, yeah. Well done. And you, Chris? Exactly the same. Just shout to David, will you? Looks good to me. <laughs> Well, good. Well, everyone's got it in that case. And what have we got? Well, we've got a very good score line here. We've got 39 and 38. So we come now to the first of uh, our conundra, if you like. So if uh, you're both ready, please reveal the first countdown conundrum. <laughs> well, the bell rings to say... Slackened. Slackened. Let's look. Yeah, well, it just took him six seconds to say that slackened, and as you know, be watching over the weeks, he's pretty good on his uh, conundrum. They both are, but Chris has had a few close calls with those conundrums. So, 49 and 38 for these two as we go uh, into the break, but it's a delight to be able to introduce these two uh, old muckers, and uh, they will perhaps explain why I call them that. David and John. Well, not muckers, really, oppos, I suppose. Oh, you're opposite numbers. Yeah, I, I want to point out one very important thing, and this is this gentleman here sitting next to me is the only seaman petty officer in the Royal Navy who never set foot aboard an HM ship afloat. <laughs> never. <laughs> it's absolutely it, right. It's absolutely right. I flew everywhere. It was <laughs> wonderful. It was a much better way of going. I never got my feet wet, never had to roll up my bell bottoms. But I did look pretty in them. I had mine permanently rolled up and I was continually seasick. <laughs> Why I joined the Navy, I'll never know. Well, it's good to have the company of these old salts, isn't it, you know? You thought that John Mills won the war, didn't you? <laughs> and Noel Coward and those sort of people. But it was these two. Yeah. And we salute you, We were the Jim. real seamen. The we real really seamen. Were. Really were. <laughs> yes. OK, on. well, look, that's enough of that. <laughs> that's, that's enough reminiscences, Ed. So we'll say farewell for the moment and we will rejoin you for part two of this countdown final very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to the final of Countdown. We had an earlier start. I know one or two of you do miss the start, in spite of all the things we say, so let me bring you back up to date. We have number eight seed Chris Colesman playing number seven seed Verity Joubert. And as you can see, after seven rounds, Chris is uh, in the lead, only slightly, relatively, because of a very good uh, conundrum. So he's on 49 and Verity there on 38. So everything to play for as we move into round eight, which is a letters game and to be chosen by Verity. Consonant, please, Carol. P. And another. L. And another. And another one. T. And a fourth, please. And S. Vowel. E. And another vowel. O. A consonant. M. A vowel. I. And a consonant, and please. A consonant, thank you. And another S. Yes, that is the selection, and this is the countdown.
So now, Verity. Seven. Seven. And Chris? Yes, yeah, seven. Right, what's yours, Chris? Potless. P O T L E W S. Potless. Right, well, we'll set Susie to work on that. Potless, Verity. Mine's topless. And topless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yes, topless. Topless is top. fine. There's no problem with topless. Oh, I'm sorry again, Chris. Potless <laughs> isn't in there. Worth a try, but it's not in the yeah. dictionary. No, you didn't really think it was in the dictionary, Chris, really. Pot potless. Who would be potless? Well, no, it's uh, even if you want to spare. Yeah. OK, so sorry, we can't accept potless, but we do accept topless. Yeah. All right, there it is. Uh, David and John. Do I look overexcited? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, I am overexcited. Smug is the word. I did say <laughs> a few days ago that my ambition was to get a nine-letter word. Well, I, I haven't got one, but <laughs> Susie's got a nine-letter <laughs> word, haven't you? Mileposts. Well done. Mileposts. Yeah. Mileposts. Yeah. Mile posts, great long word. Let's have it a look. Is. Nine letters. Well done. <laughs> so, what's that done to the score, chaps? There it is, 49 and 45, very close now. And around nine is here. Chris, to choose letters, please. Vowel, please, Carol. Start with a vowel. U. Another. A. And a consonant, please. H. And another one. D. And another consonant. N. Another consonant. S. And a vowel, please. O. Uh, and a consonant, please. F. And a vowel, please. And a vowel. And A. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right. You're ahead of me, aren't you? So far, so good. Here we go. Six again. Verity? Six. Verity, six. Hounds. Hounds, yes. Hounds. Chris? Same word, hounds. Hounds. Yeah, we were okay with hounds, David. And yes. John? No, we've just got faunas as well. That's allowable, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's fine. Faunae yeah. or fauna. faunas. Yes. Faunas. That's fine. Yes, okay. So hounds there and faunas <laughs> for six. So, on we go now to round ten. And this is a numbers game and it's Chris's choice of numbers. One from the top, please, Carol. Any five? One from the top. Any other five? And then five small numbers. OK. We have seven and nine. Three and one. Eight and one hundred. The target is 354. Right, 354. And uh, countdown for that starts now. Three five four, Chris. It's three five one. Three away, now Verity. Three five four. Three five four. Right. Patience is rewarded here now. Three five four. Let's see if it's right. A hundred plus 100. nine plus, plus nine, one plus one plus eight is a hundred and eighteen times three is three hundred and fifty four. It is indeed. Right. <laughs> This lady is an accountant, and uh, you can see why, can't you? Very good indeed. So, ten excellent points there, and uh, really reverse the game. 61 and 55. One, two, three, four rounds left. Letters game now from Verity, please. I'll have a consonant, please, Carol. D. And another. G. A third. Y. And a fourth, please. N. A vowel. 
E. And another vowel. I. A vowel, please. A. A consonant. C. And a last consonant, please. And another consonant, thank you. And a J. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go, round 11, starting now. Eight. No, Chris. Just six. You've just got six, right? You've got your six. What have you got? What have you got? Gained. Gained. Yes. Now then, eight. Decaying. Decaying. Looks so goody to me. What do you say, kids, over there? Yep. 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 We've Absolutely. got the same. same. Decaying. Well done. And that's very well done for <laughs> eight. Well, three rounds to go. Last letters game. The last letters game in this series. So, an emotional moment now as Carol pulls them out of the rack for the very last time this series, and Chris gets to choose them. Consonant, please. V. Another. Another one. S. And another, please. N. Vowel. I. Another vowel. E. Another vowel, please. A. A consonant. L. Another consonant. T. And a consonant, please. And a consonant. And S. Thank you. So, the last letters game for the moment. The countdown begins. That's time, so Chris. I'll try nine. Wow. You're gonna try nine? He says you're gonna try nine. Well, this is this is great stuff. Okay, hang on a minute, we'll go to Verity. I'm not going to try at the seven. Okay, well we'll hear what the seven is. Vainest. 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 Now he's gonna try nine, is the boy. So let's hold our breath. What have you got? Vitalness. No. Not in here, <laughs> I'm afraid. No. Good try, though. Yes, it was. Well, I think we look good for trying, because that's yeah. a good try, anyway. <laughs> but it would be what? Vitality, would it? Vitality for using it in that sense, yes. Yeah. Bad luck. Yes, it is bad luck. So, vainest, yours, uh, was seven, uh, Verity, and, and that gets it. So, that gets the points. David? Well, we, we've actually got an eight-letter word. We've got salience, but I do feel sorry for him because I know when you get a nine, the heart starts to thump <laughs> and you think you're going for the biggest, like winning the lottery, but it's the wrong number. <laughs> All right. It was a bit risky. Yes. yes. Well... Salience. Always take risks. He entered into yes. the spirit of the thing. So, that's good. So, uh, the scores, then, 55... For you and 76 for Verity. Now, Verity, it's your forte now. It's the, your numbers, and you'll get to choose them as well. I'll take one from the top, please, Carol. One from the top row? Five from anywhere else again. And five. Small numbers. I'll take them all from the second row this time. <laughs> oh, what a devil I am. Uh, one and four. One and nine. And another four and 75. Could be nasty. And the target, so oh, a long way to go. 896. All right, 896 is required. The countdown starts now.
896. Who's got this? Verity? Yes, 896. Chris? Yeah. Hello. Right. Okay. Go on, Chris. Um, 9 add 4, minus 1. It's 12. 12. Times the 75. It's 900, the biggie number. And then take away the other 4. Take away the 4, 896. Good. And you, Verity? Exactly the same. Yep. It is exactly the same way. So they both got 10 points. Well done. <laughs> Well, yes, you don't need to be Carol Vorderman to know that 65 and 86 means that uh, you're not going to catch him, Chris, but we do come to uh, the conundrum, and both of you, of course, in your previous rounds have had marvellous experiences. Your heart stopped a few times, I should think, but uh, you're both clues experts at the conundrum, so let's see what happens as we come to this very last one. So, please reveal today's final countdown conundrum. Now, you, you're going to laugh and you're going to cry, actually. And it's a good job it's not crucial, because here it is. Oh. <laughs> 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 Who? We, well, really, we like to make our guests very welcome here. Who done it? Who done it? Well, I'll tell you who done it. Verity Jubert done it, because uh, with those 86 points, before your very eyes, ladies and gentlemen, we have... A brand new champion of Countdown, champion of Series 30, Verity Jubert. Well, it's very good. Uh, you had a winning streak all along, of course. You beat uh, young Mr. Ball, didn't you, on two occasions. And, I did. Uh, the second occasion, I have to tell you, sort of behind the scenes story, when she beat him the second time, she apologised. And I said, you shouldn't apologise for, for beating him. And she said, well, I just felt he was so much better than me. Well, I know what you meant in a way, but you have beaten him twice, and now you're, you are the champion. So many congratulations. Thank you. So well done to you. And we'll make another speech in a minute or two to you. OK, so you can get emotional then. And you could get emotional now if you wanted to, but uh, I'm sure you're not, because you take it in your stride. You've been terrific. Number eight seed, this chap, number eight seed, knocked out the first seed, did a terrifically good job all the way through the series. Well done. He's only 17. He works in the bank. He's going to run that bank soon, don't you think? <laughs> Absolutely. And here's... You can put 250 quid on it straight away. Really We've got tokens for £250. Well done to Chris Colesman. OK, and before the presentation, the final word from uh, David and John. Well, you know, John's got so many voices, rattle them off for the Commander High Price. Who? Commander High Price. Oh, that was 50 years ago. Go on. My dear chap, uh, hush, keep it dark. The, pers the postman. Oh, I'm the dear chairman. <laughs> I really remember. <laughs> what about Commander Weatherby? <laughs> Don't laugh at people's afflictions. <laughs> yes, that's him. Who yes. else? No, that's it. That'll do. That'll do. What about, what about the Chief for the Officer Pertwee? Right, out then. Left hand down a bit, Mr. Phillips. Right. right, that's right. it. That'll do, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> And go on, David, do one of your funny voices. Oh, I'm a terrible, what do you mean? What does it matter what your song is a terrible? <laughs> <laughs> he does it better than what I do it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my lips don't even move. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of this. Enough of this, because uh, Chris, of course, has received uh, his uh, 250 pounds of tokens and Verity will be presented with the dictionaries uh, in a few moments. But uh, two other of uh, our uh, quarter-finalists have... Uh, and an extra prize. Do you remember our firefighter from Scunthorpe? Uh, he was our number one seed, of course, on the programme. He said he'd like, he'd like an, Eng an English uh, rugby shirt. Uh, well, 
Jan Harvey uh, said at the time she would get one for him. So uh, here it is. Here's the English rugby shirt to Graham Cross. So, Graham, I'm sure you'll be watching. Your shirt is here in safe hands. And now Andrew Bull. Andrew Bull, the number two seed. Well, no one beat his total of 73 in the regular game, so he has won this fantastic multimedia computer for attaining the highest score outside the final. So well done, our number two seed, Andrew Bull. Well, now it's time for the presentation of our Champions Prize to Verity Joubert. Well, congratulations, Verity. What a, what a winner. Thank you. Terrific. Thank Wasn't you, you good? Much. Absolutely. And, and, and you are a wonderful loser. Oh, thank congratulations. You She's a very good winner. Verity, you're going to take all those home with you? Yeah, on the bus. <laughs> 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 you are, your daughter, Katie, has been following you all through your... All the time. She's my manager now. Is she? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to let her use them? That's the thing. If she can find the right place, you know, she's learning her alphabet slowly. <laughs> <laughs> a few more years yet. Yes. You <laughs> might lead them to believe that Katie's little, but Katie's not. How no. old is Katie? 14. Yes. John, do you read that uh, Verity is the first lady to win for five years? Yes, I've just heard. Well yes. done. Congratulations. Congratulations, Congratulations Verity. Thank well you very done. much indeed. Yes, well done to... Uh, thank you, well done to Verity, well done to Chris. Thank you, David, thank you, John, thank you, Susie, thank you, Carol, thank you all for watching. And we'll all be back with you again in January of 1996. So may we be the first to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>